you're willing to go to war for it, you're willing to go on demonstrations, you're willing to sacrifice so much, you write articles about it, you're very passionate because they're destroying the forest, they're killing the animals, they're destroying the land, they're destroying the water, the water is polluted, the air is polluted, and the world is crumbling down and you're very angry about it and you're very identified. But let me ask you a question. When you sleep and you don't dream, when you sleep and you don't dream, where does your world go? What happens to your world when you're sleeping and you're not dreaming? Where does it go? What happens to it? This world that you're so passionate about it, where does it go when you're sleeping and you're not dreaming? Have you ever thought about that? When you're sleeping and you're not dreaming, okay? I'm not talking about when you're dreaming. In psychology, the, uh, they, they broke sleeping into four different levels. The first level of sleep is that when you have the highest level of REM, rap rapid eye movement. When you sleep and you're in this first level of sleeping, what happens is that you have these vivid dreams. You really remember everything. You wake up the next day and you're not really rested because you had lucid dream, dreaming. You were very much involved in dreaming. Everything's very real in it, as if you were there. It really happened to you. Then the second level of sleeping is where you still have the REM is happening and but you sleep five hours, six hours, eight hours, you wake up the next day, you're not very rested. You know you were dreaming, but you can't remember your dreams. But you know, so you wake up and you forget your dream. You can't remember it, but you were dreaming. When you were dreaming, you knew you were dreaming. And you're still not very rested the next day because there was a lot of activities going on. Then it's the third level that you sleep. There is some level of dreams going on. You're not 100% rested the next day when you wake up. You don't remember your dreams, but you also know that you're not, you weren't rested 100%. You know something was happening, but you can't remember it. But you're not 100% rested. Then you go into the fourth level where the REM is very, very low. There's still rapid eye movement happening but it's in a very, very low dosage. You put your head down, you sleep. Eight hours after, six hours after, two hours after, or maybe a half an hour nap, you wake up. And you know what you say to yourself normally? You say to yourself, I was gone. Oh my God, I was gone. I was gone. I feel so refreshed. I feel so good. Oh my God. I wish I could always sleep like this because I was gone. So what happens? You put your head down, you put there, you fall asleep. Here is your person. You're this person. And then here you go to sleep and there's no dreaming. Here you wake up, so there's this gap. 
and then the person comes back. You come back with your story, whatever is your story. You're a mom, you're a dad, you're, you're a nurse, you're whatever. You're an activist, you're a psychologist, you're a student, you're a truck driver, you're an engineer, whatever is your story. This is your story to this point. From here to here, you slept. And here you wake up and you continue. But you don't remember this part. You slept and you have no recollection, nothing. You're gone. And in this period of time, it doesn't matter that you have your sweetheart, your lover, husband, wife, whatever is in your arms that person disappears. They don't exist because you're gone. You have no recollection. You don't remember your home, your bed, your bills, your problems, the pandemic. You're losing your business. You're losing your money. Your partner left you. You don't remember. None of them exist. World issues demonstration, racism, the world is unfair. Whatever are your issues that you're really struggling with, you're suffering, you're depressed, you're sad, you're angry, you're jealous, or you just accomplish something really big and you're very excited about it, and something very positive happened in your life and you're super excited. All of these things disappear in this period of time. They don't exist anymore because you're not there because you don't exist anymore. The world disappears in your disappearance. You're not there. And there is no world. And then you wake up. And when you wake up, the first thought that arrives, 7 billion people, they report that they live on this planet. 7 billion. All 7 billion people from any race, any religion, any sort of racial colors, any belief system, it doesn't matter. All 7 billion people, when they wake up in the morning, have the same first thought. I don't care who you are. You're a psychologist. You're an engineer. You're in the army. You're a single mom. You're a child. You're a grown up. Whatever you are. You're white, you're black, you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you're Buddhist. I don't care. All 7 billion people, when they wake up, have the first same thought, regardless of anything. Pay attention. It is the I thought. I, oh, I'm tired, or I'm happy, or I feel good, or whatever. I. I, me, I. That's the first thought arises in your mind when you wake up. And with that I thought, me comes back your world. It's like all these cubic compartments reappear. You wake up, I, I am da 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 da, 